So everybody uses this Knox gelatin, but it's like $12 for eight ounces. I got the Great Value brand, and it does the same thing, and it was five bucks. So you're gonna pour an ounce of the gel to a cup of water, stir it up real good till it looks like applesauce. Each one of those packets is a quarter of an ounce, so you're gonna have to use four packets to get an ounce, but don't eat it, because it's not really applesauce. And once you get it like this, you wanna throw it in the fridge for two hours, and it needs to bloom. And once it's bloomed, it's going to be nice and stiff, but it's not going to be very see-through. So now you got to melt it down again. And the way you want to do that, you got to burn your freaking ass. Yeah, just put it on a pot of boiling water like this, the same way you would melt chocolate or something like that. Stir it up while you're heating it. You know, don't stir it too fast or you're going to introduce a lot of bubbles into it. But just give it a good stir. And it's going to be thinner than syrup, but thicker than water at this point. Let it cool for a minute and pour it up. I just put mine in a little two-liter container here and scoop those bubbles off of the top. Threw it back in the fridge for 12 hours and voila, it comes out nice and stiff now. Just cut it out. Whatever you're going to put it in, it doesn't stick to it. You don't have to worry about it. And bam, there it is. Look at that. It's like rubber. It's like latex. I mean, it's, it's really... Smack that thing, buddy. Smack it. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. This is some real deal holy field ballistic gel, y'all. And I made this at home, and it cost me like five bucks. This is crazy. So I took it out and I shot it with my 9mm and also the JTS M12 AR that you can see right here. I blew it to bits. If you want to watch that whole video, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching.